What's up guys, it's the Bionic Benny YouTube channel. We're here at the Sacramento Reptile Show. We're gonna run around the show and ask people which animals they think would be best for somebody in a wheelchair. Thanks for watching. Where are you going? You know the best part is hey, come here. I need to record you. Miggy. Sorry. Thank you. Him. Miggy, come here. Hey, hey. All right, guys, we're here with Aaron from LKR, Lizard King Reptiles. So, what would you recommend? For a reptile for a person with a disability or some type of uh uh handicap first you know what? i think you're living proof that it doesn't matter i mean you can have a disability and it doesn't have to hold you back from following your dreams so i would say get whatever reptile you want and as long as you have the support system and you feel confident with it run with it don't 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 hesitate well, i appreciate that brother yeah all right guys i'm here with project x reptiles and um, I have a question for you. So what would you recommend for a person, uh, what reptile would you recommend for a person with a disability or some type of hat, or there it's, that's handicapped? Well, that's a tough question, man, because depending on their handicap or disability, ball pythons might be the one of the best pets you can start with regardless. Once you get their tank set up, their, their thermostat set up, they're bulletproof, man. Great animals that. Yeah. So ball, ball python, you recommend? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, brother. Guys, I'm here with my boy Aaron Solano Serpents. What, what reptile would you recommend a person that's a handicap or has some type of disability? I would say, man, whatever you like, go for it. Because I mean, my man Benny over here doing the interview. What do you got? You got berms, you got retics. I got a little bit of everything, yep. And he's taking good care of them. So as long as you got the mental strength to keep up with the animal, do whatever you want, man. Good answer, bro. I appreciate yep. that. Excellent answer. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm here with Steve from Exoterra. Um, 
What, what reptile would you recommend for a person that's handicapped or has some type of dis disability? You know, I'm always, whenever I start looking at the types of reptiles there that are underrepresented or underappreciated, I always go towards Euromastix. Really easy, they're almost like tropical fish, like saltwater fish or so, where you're watching them, they're interacting, super high metabolism, relatively clean. Um, once they're established, easy to care for, long lived. So when you take everything all together, I think they make probably some of the best reptile pets out there. And as people continue to breed them and bring them more into the hobby as opposed to the stuff that's imported, I think that they haven't even hit their ceiling yet as far as popularity goes. Gotcha, I appreciate that so much. Absolutely. All right, guys, I'm here with East, at East Bay Vivarium at the Sacramento Reptile Show. What reptile would you recommend for a person who is handicapped or disabled? Well, uh, there's quite a bit of things that you can do. Uh, what I worry about, of course, is things getting away. So things that are slow moving are probably the easiest things for you. Things like pythons and boas, kind of slow moving stuff like that. It could be smaller geckos, things like leopard geckos, crested geckos, again, kind of slower moving stuff. Uh, a lot of it's uh, up to you, though, what your, what your challenge level might be. Uh, go with what you love is what I always say, because it doesn't matter how much I love it, you've got to love it. Appreciate that. Good answer. All right, guys, I'm here with Glenn's Reptiles at the Sacramento Reptile Show. Glenn, so what reptile would you recommend for somebody that's handicapped or, or that has some type of disability? Um, I immediately think of what animals would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any of the racers, like a Baron's racer, uh, anything that moves quickly, I'm thinking of um, some of the Asian rat snakes. Um, I often have to chase them down. They'll shoot out of their tank when I go to clean them. But so many other animals, you open the tank and they're pretty mellow, and so you have to pull them out. Um, those would probably be helpful. Um, so I think a bull snake would be a good option. Um, they get pretty big, easily handled, um, and they're, uh, they tend to be uh, mellow as adults. They are a little hissy as babies, but as adults they grow up and, and do great. Um, Corn snakes would probably be a good option. Usually with regular handling, they're pretty mellow. Um, I think that would be a good option. Uh, Colombian rainbow boas, I think are great options. They don't get too big. They're very solid animals, easy to feed, easy to clean up after. Um, they are much more tolerant to a variety of humidities. Yeah. Unlike the Brazilians, which are a little more sensitive to to humidity in particular. Um, so those are the ones that come to mind uh, as far as best animals Definitely. to be kept with, with yeah. limited accessibility in and out of the gotcha. Perfect, thank you, perfect answer. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate it. Scaleless corn or scaleless te Texas? Yeah, scaleless corn snake. Insane. Are they fully scaleless? Are they? Uh... Uh, no, the bottoms are scaleless. You have them all in this display case right here? Yeah, they're, they're all like roaming around the display. This is insane. I mean, just some in here. And then you also got some in this tree over here. Oh, let me stand back. That's insane. They're not going to get spooked, are they? No, they're not. They're, they're perfectly chill. 
That's so cool. All right, guys, we're here at the Sacramento Reptile Show. We're here with Gek Bro. What reptile would you recommend for somebody who's handicapped or has some type of disability? Ah, uh, man, that's a good question, okay? I'd probably go with like a crested gecko because they're a little bit sticky. It's not something that's going to like really get away from you. It's not really fast. So you catch up to it if it's running away. Um, check this out, man. That's one of my crusties right here. So it's really just going to kind of stick to you, bro. I had somebody else that, that was disabled earlier asking me uh, if they could hold a gecko. I put a leopard gecko on them. But I mean, they're all pretty cool. It's just a matter of like... Uh, what you like? I think it's really what you like is, is gonna be uh, yeah. uh, help help you out in the future. You know, definitely. Um, yeah, I would probably say crested gecko, just yeah. because they're a little sticky. It's not like something you can drop. Yeah, you have I know. To worry about it like running away too much. They're pretty cool. It's like a little monkey to me. I always think about like, like little monkeys. Okay, I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, anytime, man.